Every year, the Academy Awards give out two Oscars for screenwriting, but so far they haven't awarded any Oscars for bloopers and ad-libs. Which is too bad, because some of Hollywood's best moments are completely unscripted. Here's a look at some epic movie bloopers that were kept in the movie. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. One of Rogue One's most enjoyable new additions to the Star Wars canon is the sometimes funny, sometimes nasty droid K2SO. He's been described as the anti-C-3PO, according to actor Alan Tudyk, who provided both the motion capture and voice performance for the character. And during one particular scene with Diego Luna, who plays Cassian, Tudyk got a little too into character. While trying to talk their way out of a jam, Tudyk gave Luna the back of his robot hand. Quiet! The moment brought laughter to the audience and the actor. Luna was so surprised he had to cover his face to keep from ruining the take by laughing. Fast and Furious 6 In the Fast and Furious movies, Chris Ludacris Bridges and Tyrese Gibson often serve up what Ludacris calls comic relief. Case in point, in Fast and Furious 6, as Dwayne Johnson enters, everyone went totally off script, ad-libbing a scene that ended with a very real spit take. Hey, Mia, you better hide your baby, all. I'm just playing. <laughs> you better hide that big-ass forehead. <laughs> that was his joke. Seems these guys really enjoy each other's company. Zoolander. So why male models? Idiot male model Derek Zoolander asks this question and receives nearly a minute of exposition from former hand model J.P. Pruitt. He explains the long-standing conspiracy about how figures in the fashion world have orchestrated several assassinations, using brainwashed male models to do the dirty work. And when he's done, Zoolander asks the exact same question again. That's because Ben Stiller couldn't remember his line, so he just repeated himself. Luckily, David Duchovny improvised the perfect response, and it stayed in the film. But why male models? You serious? I just... I just told you that a moment ago. Right. The Martian. Donald Glover had a small but pivotal role in The Martian as the scientist who comes up with the plan to save Matt Damon's stranded astronaut character. The role involved faking a lot of math, but it also involved totally not faking falling flat on his face. Glover explained to Conan O'Brien that the pratfall was completely unscripted, and director Ridley Scott loved it. And I was like, so, pow, 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 and then everybody's like, <gasps> and then I just get up and I'm like, I'm fine. And I keep going in the scene, right? and then after the scene's done, he comes up, he's like, that was great. The Birdcage. Glover's face plant was funny, but when it comes to accidentally falling down, nobody tops the legendary Robin Williams, as proven in The Birdcage. He manages to stay completely in character and ad lib several lines even while taking a nasty tumble. Just remember, kids, don't drink and cook. Don't give me no time to jump. Shut up! It's okay. We're all right. It's fine. Just shut up! Clueless. In a high school debate exercise on whether the U.S. should take in refugees, Ditsy Cher Horowitz mentions the plight of the displaced Haitians. Just one problem, actress Alicia Silverstone had no idea how to pronounce the word Haitians, so we ended up with this instant classic bit of film history instead. And so, if the government could just get to the kitchen, rearrange some things, we could certainly party with the Haitians. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.